Okay, this is my book of uh, different mandalas that I have. I want to show you guys some of them, quite a few of them, and uh, read from the little description that they have, and then each one has a quote um, from from different people, from different sources. Um, I'm not gonna say the, like the uh, author or whatever, like what the quote is coming from. Like for one, because I just don't like how it feels. Like whenever I say um, that that quote or that that message and then end it with like something like a name like it, it I don't know it doesn't feel right to me so just in no way am I claiming <laughs> these quotes or at all um, and if if anyone wants to know uh, what quote came from according to this came from who or what they can just ask me and I'll, and I'll tell them. Okay, um, I wish you guys could see how I'm like, how I've set this up because it's so <laughs> janky looking. It's, it's really funny. Uh, so if I accidentally bump the chair that the cam's on or whatever, like, yeah, sorry, but this is, uh, the best I can come up with right now. <laughs> so, okay. And also, I might kind of play my singing bowl or tuning fork if anyone wants to like meditate upon some of these things with the, those sounds. That might be kind of cool. And I also went with like a lower lighting here because I don't, I don't want it want people to stare at like mandalas through uh, screens or whatever, black mirrors. Uh, I don't know, I don't feel like that's really all that great for your eyes or for your mind, so try to stare at natural mandalas or get a book or get this book, which uh, is the Natural Mandalas book. That's the title of it. If anyone wants to know. Oh, there we go. Any more specifics about the book? I can, I can relay that info. Okay, so this one is the... It says, Out of the Acorn. The acorn is a proverbial symbol of possibility. A capsule of future life that can be held in the palm of the hand in contrast to the mighty oak that it will one day become our own potential as creative, nurturing souls may similarly outstrip our expectations. Start with what you know. Mature according to nature. Let destiny do the rest.
the red rose. The rose is a mystical symbol of the heart, the hub of the cosmic wheel. However, in many traditions, the red rose also demotes sacrifice as the redness conjures up an image of blood, while the beauty of the unfolded petals suggests the love that has inspired such selflessness. Rose, we are your coronation, the infinite concordance of spirit unfolding. The chrysanthemum. In China, the chrysanthemum is the emblem of Taoist perfection, autumnal serenity, fullness, longevity, without a doubt, because its blooms continue into the winter. The flower is also a solar symbol, said to serve as an intermediary between heaven and earth. Life is the flower for which love is the honey.
two trees from one root. There is a major tradition of spiritual of spirituality known as non-dualism, the belief that behind nature's differences there is an essential oneness. These two trunks from one root shows duality emerging from unity, yet remain true to their oneness in the reality that underlies appearances. Wonder of wonders, this very enlightenment is the nature of all beings, and yet they are unhappy for lack of it. A garland of flowers. The tradition of using flowers to celebrate achievements or occasions brings the natural world to our attention. Hence, the temporary status of all enduring. or success. It harnesses natural beauty in a framework of artistry. The pursuit of truth and beauty is a sphere of activity in which we are permitted to remain children all our lives. Cheer, Bob.
flowing with the stream. The Tao Te Ching places great emphasis on the inevitable flow of nature. The Tao itself, in which we must all immerse ourselves, this involves surrendering all pointless resistance to change and allowing nature to take its course. If one way be better than another, that, you may be sure, is nature's way. The world tree, with roots around the earth and branches in the heavens. The world tree is a symbol of our potential, our potential ascent from the physical realm to the higher levels of the spirit. This mandala offers a paradoxical spin on this idea by having the Earth's core at its central point. <laughs> yes, how, how paradoxical. The infinite has written its name on the heavens, in shining stars, and on Earth, in tender flowers.
golden apples. In Greek myth, one of the tasks undertaken by the hero Heracles or Hercules was to travel to the far west to a garden where two nymphs lived. They tended a tree bearing golden apples guarded by a many-headed serpent. It was Heracles' task to kill the serpent and steal the apples. The one chased away with the club comes back, but the one chased away with reason does not. serpent and the egg. An egg surrounded by a coiled serpent was a powerful symbol in the ancient Greek Orphic religion, but its symbolism is esoteric. Nevertheless, the universal symbolism of the egg and serpent individually makes this mysterious image a rewarding subject for a mandala. A song slumbers, and all things that lie dreaming on and on, and the world prepares to sing if you hit upon the magic word. The magic sword. Abracadabra. life-giving sun. Nothing in our cosmos can match the transformative power of the sun. It even provides us 
with the means to see, dangerous at full strength. Like the god Zeus, whom no mortal could look upon without shriveling to ashes. The sun is also pure life giving energy. The human body is vapor, materialized by sunshine and mixed with the life of the stars. This is probably my favorite one of the book. The Frog of Good Fortune In Chinese folklore, the three-legged frog with a coin in its mouth is rather like the western symbol the four-leaf clover. An augury of good fortune, although traditionally associated with a monetary windfall, the creature in this meditation is given a more spiritual dimension. I'm a great believer in luck. And I find the harder I work, the more I have of Just one snowflake. Nothing is more lovely than a snowflake. Perfectly symmetrical. With a wonderful delicacy of form. It is one of nature's finest achievements. No less so for the fact that it is 
fleeting. Similarly, our brief lives and episodes within them can be beautiful for all their transience. He who binds himself to joy does the winged life destroy. But he who kisses the moment as it flies lives in an eternity sunrise. Coiled snake, the most complex of animal symbols, the snake has been limited. I'm sorry, has been linked variously with fertility, healing, and duplicity, among many other things. Its power to renew itself by shedding its skin suggests rejuvenation, and in some Eastern cultures it is linked with the Creator Deity. Snakes are the ambassadors of raw nature, singing songs of mud and fire too solid for the ear. golden carp. In the east, the carp is an omen of good fortune. 
especially long life, on account of the fish's own longevity. It was also given an emblematic form to students with wishes for success in examinations. The carp and its pawn can be linked to insight, a distinct gleam in the murky depths. The eye of the silent heart will see into great depths, and the ear of the silent mind will hear untold wonders. Gazing at the tiger. Animals have an intense mystery about them. We may be at a loss to understand the mentality of someone who speaks a different language from our own. Yet an animal's consciousness is even more baffling. This puzzlement shades into awe which, deprived of any fear, brings insights. Humankind differs from the animal animals only by a little, and most people throw that away. A bird's egg. The egg is a universal symbol of beginnings. 
whose fr fragility emphasizes how precious it is. As with many different kinds of project conditions must be right for the breakthrough to take place. Nurturing is a necessary preliminary to fulfillment. Everything in nature contains all the power of nature. Everything is made of one hidden stuff. I think that's the last one. Oh no, wait. I skipped on. The last one is the seashells on the seashore. Seashells. I can barely see this. As well as being auspicious. As well as being an auspicious lunar feminine emblem associated in some cultures with fertility and good fortune, the shell and its often complex inner geometry reflects the mysterious divine order that underpins all creation. Nature never says one thing, and wisdom another. Whoa. Okay, so hopefully that was somewhat visible and audible and enjoyable. Thank you.